you know, part of what you can enjoy, I think, is is the sense that if you are doing it really well, even if you aren't getting some answers or the problem is difficult, you know, you try and find ways. You, you, either you find this intellectually a very interesting question and you turn it around or you try to um, sort of say, well, this was fun to think about in this way and let's try another way. Because I think you have to keep being very flexible about how yeah. you think about ideas and you come in with a set of ideas for how to do experiments because you have a certain question you're going to ask. And then you find it's all working a different way. And it's like, oh my gosh, this can be very frustrating. And you sort of have to be prepared to let go the other idea and come in from a different, a different yeah, yeah. angle. I find that's quite hard sometimes for people in my lab because they've come in and very much invested with a particular... Yeah. come in meaning started some experiments very invested in, in a particular idea of what they think is important for it and then they find that something is not working in this way and it's oh you know I've done all this work and, and, and we talk about it and then I can see oh it's actually really interesting from another aspect yeah. but the person doing the experiments is sort of oh but you know yeah. and then gradually you sort of have a back and forth and back and forth and maybe they present it at a lab research meeting and then they start to see that oh yeah actually my original idea is not the way it is although it was a good rational starting point but there's another way that you can get yeah. something out of it sometimes it doesn't work right <laughs> away